Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at a program called F Gallery, which is a simple program for generating static uh, HTML um, image galleries, which is great for throwing up on your web server to share images. Um, it's fairly simple, but looks nice and has uh, a few nice features without getting too complicated. Uh, it will probably be in your repository if you're on a Debian-based system, you know, Ubuntu, MX Linux, Linux Mint, or Debian as I am. You should be able to sudo apt install F gallery. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to um, go through that again. I am in a directory right now uh, with a couple images from a previous tutorial. So uh, let's go ahead and just run this. So uh, you will uh, need a web server throw on, but of course that's very easy to set up on your Linux machine. There's many different ways to do it with Python or Apache if you're able to do it or BusyBox has an HTTPD in it. There's a, there's a whole bunch of them or you know an actual web server. Um, and it's nice because this is a command line uh, program so you can automate stuff to generate this stuff in a cron job or however you want uh, for your web server. But let's go ahead and just run it. I'm going to say F gallery. I'm going to say look at the current directory. So dot is the current directory, but I can give it a path to a full directory if I want. And then I want the output path, which my web server uh, is linked to my home directory, www. And I'm just going to say tt, just because that's the directory I made. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. It'll take a few seconds here. It's going to make some thumbnails, some smaller size of this, and also copy over the originals. So now that we did that, I can go here. Here's my web server. I'm looking at my local host, but of course I can give the, my, the full URL to my web server wherever I've placed this. I can refresh this, and here we go with the gallery. Let me make this full screen. You can see the images. I can go through them with my mouse here. I can also click this arrow here. I can use the arrows left and right to move through them, and it looks nice. It's very simple to share. And then up here it tells you the date of the image, and there's a button here to download. You click that, and it will give you a zip file with all the full resolution of all those images. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Let's go back to the shell here and let's just type in F gallery and it will give you a few options here. Let me go ahead and make that full screen. Um, so you can have verbose output, verbose output, slim output, which does not copy the originals and does not give you the download option. So if you want smaller file, uh, a smaller gallery, you can ignore those full resolutions because your, you know, your full resolutions could be big. So it depends. Do you want to have the full resolutions available for people to download? Uh, so let me, let me look at that real quick. So I'm going to say dash u, um, du dash, is it, I always get du and df mixed up. Okay, so my current directory, which just has these images, it are 4.5 megabytes. Uh, but if I run the same thing on my home directory, www forward slash tt, you can see that it's 7 megabytes because it's got that 4.5 megabytes of the original images, but then it also has you know the HTML script, the thumbnails, and the resized images. So it's it's kind of large. Uh, it's larger than the original. Uh, but we can adjust this by going back and again running F gallery here. You can see that we have this dash S for slim option. Let me run the same command we ran before. So again, F gallery. Again, dot is just saying the current directory. You can also give it a path to any directory where your images are. This, but I'm also going to give it the dash S option. It's going to process through those. Now, real quick, if I come up here and run this duh command again, again, h is just human readable, it's telling me it's actually less than the original because it made 2.6 megabytes worth of files resizing the images, but we don't have that four and a half megabytes of the original. It's coming back here, if I was to refresh the gallery now, you know, as far as the gallery goes, it looks the same. I can go through, but you'll notice that the download option is gone. So it didn't copy over the original, so it doesn't give you that uh, full download album. All depends on what you want. Coming back here, let's just look at some of these options again for F Gallery. Um, and so there's a few other things: include individual originals, do not auto rotate, time sort, reverse the album. I mean, most of these are pretty self-explanatory. I haven't played with a lot of them because I haven't had need to. There are options here to set the maximum full image size and thumbnail size, uh, and minimum thumbnail size. You can also adjust the quality, uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, then you can also specify a location. I guess uh, there you could have an index button. Uh, let me actually try that. I have not tried that. So if I run F gallery on this directory, slim, so it doesn't have the, the originals in there. If I do this, almost by Chris.com. I haven't tried this. Let's just see what happens here. 
Again, by default, it will override a directory like we already had one there. It overwrote it without asking, so be aware of that. Don't accidentally override anything. Uh, come here and I'll refresh. Okay, so it added this little arrow here. So we have our gallery, boom, 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 boom. I can skip through them. It tells me the date and time of each image. I can click this back arrow and theoretically, yep, it brings me to my website. So that's neat. Uh, so you can have a home page set in your gallery as well. One more thing that I want to look at here is the dash F option, I think it is. Yes, improve thumbnail allocation. So in a previous video, I talked about a program called Face Detect. So sudo apt install face detect if you haven't already installed it. If that is installed, you can use this dash F option. And what that does is when it crops, if it crops your thumbnails, it will use face detection to make sure it crops where the face is so that, uh, you know, if you have like a portrait photo, it's not cropping on someone's chest. It will try to find their face and crop the thumbnails appropriately. I haven't played around with that too much. I mean, I can add that to our command here. Let's do that again. And so I should just be able to say dash F. Again, it's going to override my current directory uh, without asking, so be aware of that. Once that is complete, I don't think, I don't know if it's going to, my thumbnails aren't being real cropped because they're all normal sizes. Really, if it's cropping, it's probably because you have an, not a standard, uh, you know, image width. Uh, but theoretically, the face detect thing should crop so that it centers the thumbnails as best possible around a face in the image. So. There's that option. So the last thing we have to do is just uh, you know, to look at the directory. What does it create? So as you can see, it creates a few folders where it puts images, thumbnails, uh, blurs. I'm assuming it's just the background. Uh, you know, a couple images for the icons, but then it just, it has some JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, uh, but it's, uh, you know, not using server-side stuff. So there's no server-side script. It's just generating all this. And it's really nice. If you needed to set up a quick little gallery on your website, this is a pretty simple and fast way to generate one. Again, it's called F Gallery. It should probably be in your repositories. Aptitude show F Gallery will give us a description on it. And usually, here, here is the home page to the project if you want to go check that out in the description and whatnot. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. If you enjoyed my video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And if you want to support the site financially, you can support by going to patreon.com forward slash melx1000. There's a link to that in the description uh, or a link to my website, filmsbychris.com. Again, you can go there to search for my all my videos, but there's also a link at the top that says support, and there will bring you to two options currently. You can support me through PayPal or Patreon. The links will be there. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.